Good morning, folks. We've got several cool things to see today. Had some solar flares. We'll look at the deep field image with a radio telescope. We'll see how astronomers are still figuring out stars, space radiation, and electric animals. We're starting with the last 24 hours on our star. Despite having the first M-class solar flare in several days, we didn't have much in the way of eruptive activity. Minor surging is about all we have here. We are still awaiting a glancing blow CME impact in the KP index hit for this morning possible geomagnetic activity today and here you'll see those impulsive flare events at the same sunspot group we identified as growing in complexity it's beginning to turn away from the earth today space weather alert is minor to moderate first up in the articles let's go to deep space where the very large array has taken a radio shot of the hubble deep field Upon initial review, it appears unremarkable, but I image stacked and enhanced, and you can see there's not only much more to be seen when the dim regions are highlighted, but there are these ripples in the northern half of the image as well. Very curious features there. Haven't seen those before. Up next, let's go to white dwarf stars where the standard mold is breaking as their cooling process can be interrupted for a very long time. Astronomers had no idea this was possible as crystalline structures within amplify convection and halt their cooling process. They are still figuring out stars. Up next, we've got an excellent and accurate warning about space tourism and the risk and unpredictability of cosmic radiation from the sun and galactic cosmic rays. What's important for us to remember is that Earth's magnetic field is weakening, and as it continues to do so, we will be more subject to that same radiation while still here on Earth. Last but not least, straight out of science fiction stories here from Columbia University, except it's true. Fish that are known to have electric sense may actually have something close to a hive mind where their auras speak to one another. For those who don't know, all living beings have an energy field around them, including plants and humans. Excellent story here bringing the esoteric into the light of reality. Very cool stuff today. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 5.15 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.